Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics! Let's not head over to Egros Castle. Why not? Let's have a cutscene instead. Now, just so you know, viewers, um, was it? We, the cutscene you saw during the intro there, that was like the only, well, maybe not the only one, but one of the very, very few uh, full cinematics that we're actually going to have in the game. Uh, most of the game looks just like this. So, it's a one-disc game, you know? They're not going to put, like, a whole bunch of cinematics in it. So, but, you know, the focus is really on the battle and uh, battle mechanics and all that good stuff anyway. Ball veins, huh? Ah, oh, okay, so this is further in the past, I guess, because we're already done with the war now. So, you know, I just realized this. It, this is a flashback within a flashback. How does that happen? How's it going? All right. I guess we're at war with Ordalia. And we delivered a secret message. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, that is a long war. Holy cow. Man, you sure got a lot of kids. I mean, the difference in age between the girl and uh, Dysodarg on the right there, it's got to be at least 20, 30 years. He must have gotten a lot. Oh, apparently, he did get a lot of booty. Multiple women. Not even the same mother between the, fo well, between the four of them. Sorry, I spoiled it half a second before he came in there. But yeah, we're all brothers and sisters here. Or, well, one sister, but yeah. For some reason, I always get the impression that Zalbag is, like, really old. Like, as old as Dysodarg. But he's only, like, I think in his profile it says he's, like, 27 or something. So, I'm not even as old as me. And I'm old. I thought we were... Ver well, I guess we're nobles. We're not really royalty, but... Yep, sounds like a plan. Sign me up, dude. So he's going to be a squire for a squire. That's great. Man, if they told me, hey, you know, we'll go to school and you get a sword. Yeah, sign me up. Get a little self-defense training while we're at it. I took some self-defense when I was a kid. I took uh, Shotokan Karate. Got up to green belt, but then they suddenly said, oh, yeah, if you want to, like, go any farther, you gotta, like, do, like, three classes a week, and, uh, yeah, that wasn't happening. I mean, hey, I like staying in shape and taking care of myself and learning stuff as much as the next guy, but, uh, yeah, well, I got other things I want to do with my life. Uh, I wasn't that dedicated. So, oh, well. But anyway, fortunately, the characters in this game are dedicated to their craft, so let's head on over to Egros Castle now. <laughs> Game? Now, now, this is not a random battle. You have to uh, go through with this. This is a fixed story battle. So, uh, let's see. First and most important thing. Put the chemist over here. Make sure that they have the battle boots. That'll be critical for this battle. Oh, no, I want Ramza over here. Krona there. Taku there. I guess it doesn't really matter between those two. And that should be good. Let's do this. Just like every other battle, you know, you gotta set up your party and everything like that. Mandali uh, planes. Kind of goes with the music there. And they got a lot of different battle themes in this game. This one, one of the less exciting ones. Oh, it's still cool and all, but they got a lot of different ones. And let me know what you think about showing a random battle to show the music there, because some of the random battles have uh, unique battle music too, and uh, maybe I could demonstrate how I like to do a little grinding, because I am going to do a little bit through the game, but just something I'm thinking about, maybe show like a battle here or there, but I'm not going to go extreme and show a lot of them, but anyway, here, you got two choices. I'm going to choose saving him as our priority. If you choose the other option, it'll increase everyone's rage by 10 temporarily for the battle, and of those, two will be permanent. So that can be pretty nice. 
but then you don't have to save Algus. Uh, since I chose this option, I have to save him. If he dies, it's game over. Which basically amounts to killing everyone on the field except him. Alright, go Delita! Yeah, Throwstone's kind of nice for uh, Squires there. I like it. Goodness had nothing to do with it. But I'll see what I can do. Yeah, take out that thief first. He can... some Sometimes he might be able to steal equipment from you. Or uh, there's an ability called Steel Heart, which basically uh, lets them or lets him steal your party member practically from you and turn him against you. So yeah, that can be a problem. Usually I don't run into that in this battle though. Oh, did I teach potion to my chemist? I better have. When I was uh, testing this battle earlier, I didn't teach potion to my chemist. <laughs> Oops! But we'll see what we can do here. Okay, first things first, uh, let's go up here. And since I have nothing better to do, I'm going to use my Wish ability on uh, Delita there to restore some of his HP. The drawback is that half of the HP that you restore will damage yourself. So you got to watch out for that. But... Like I said, I have nothing better to do, and by taking that action, I get a little JP. Now, I can't do anything here. I don't have to throw a stone. Now, for this part, I need to save Algus' life. So, move forward as far as you can. And then a potion, I can throw it uh, up to four tiles away, which just so happens to be where Algus is. So now, he won't die, because being an AI-controlled character, he's an idiot. He's just going to rush, rush forward into battle. So let's move Krona up there, and then we're in pretty good shape. We don't have any other basic skills like Accumulate or, or anything like that. Watch out for the monster there, the Panther. Uh, they have a reaction ability or a counterattack that you got to watch out for. So when you attack them, they might hit you back. So that can be a little bit of a problem. This battle is going to be pretty easy because we don't have height to worry about or water like we did in the first battle. So I should be able to go through this battle a lot faster than any other battle that I've been through so far. So yeah, you see what they did? They hit him, they hit Algus, and then they backed away like a coward. So now what I want to do, this is a lot easier in this battle than the first battle, gang up on the one guy there. Basically, that's pretty much the strategy for melee in the game. Gang up on him, everyone. Well, I almost got him. I was like, what? It didn't kill him? I guess Delita's gonna end. Why aren't you finishing that guy off, Delita? Oh. You can finish the other guy off. Okay. Uh, never mind. Uh, carry on. I didn't expect him to do something remotely intelligent. Don't kill Algus. Don't kill Algus. Thank you. Can Ramza get a turn so I can kill that other guy? Thank you. There we go. Now I can't heal Algus because since Ramza is not a chemist, I can't... Uh, what is it? I can't throw a potion that far. I... I might be able to get between those two with my potion. I don't think so. Can I get him? Yes, I can. Okay. Woo! Got lucky. Sometimes if there's like someone directly in your way between you and your target, you'll heal the target. Or like, let's say you had an archer, and there was someone in your way, you might hit the target that's in between you and not the direct enemy that you want to attack. I really wish you would have killed the thief instead. The other thing about thieves is that they have really good movement radius, and... Oh, that didn't kill him. Hmm. How much HP does he get left? But yeah, they have really good movement radius and really good evade. So, oh, that's right, I used a potion on him, I forgot. Uh, let's check out the AT real quick here. Okay, yeah, I'm going to kill this guy before he can do anything, so... Or I could go after the thief. Yeah, let's go after the thief, since no one else useful can go after him. Basically, I just want to make sure that that squire down there isn't going to try and kill Algus. Alright, I gained a JP level. Uh, whenever you gain a JP level, that will sometimes contribute to unlocking other job classes. Uh, specifically, in this case, getting up to level 2 uh, for Squire will unlock the Knight and... What was the other one? The Knight and Archer job class. Getting up to level 2 with Chemist will unlock 
about other job classes. Let's see, can I use Wish on anyone? Anyone? No one's taking a hit. Okay, never mind then. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. So if I move there, I should be able to lure that monster out of there. That should be good. Can I heal Algus? Probably not. No, no, you see, they're in the way. So, well, I'll just have to do the best I can. If he dies, well, that would be really bad. But there's nothing else I can... Oh, wait a minute. Algus is probably going to get a turn and kill the thief for me anyway. So, not really worried about that. Uh, the panther there also has a poisoning ability. So that's something you got to watch out for. Finish him! Yeah! The thing with uh, throw stone and dash is that there is a little bit of randomness to how much damage they'll deal. Even though, like you see here, it says 24 damage that I'm going to deal to him. Uh, with melee attacks, that'll almost always be what actually happens. But for things like throw stone, not necessarily. Now, what I would like to do is I would like all my characters to have 200 JP by the, for Squire by the end of the battle. Hopefully, I can do that. Uh, let's see. Let's use a potion. Nah, you know what? I don't need to use a potion. Let's not waste it. Uh, how are you doing on Chemist anyway? Let's see. Get up to... Oh, you're not going to get up to 200. No way. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll use a potion just to get the JP. It, they cost like 50 gold. It's a good way of gaining JP, by the way, using potions and such, if you got nothing else better to do. So. And uh, don't worry about Delita and Algus gaining JP. How are you doing there? Normally, I'm not going to do all this on screen. Okay, there we go. Yeah, all my characters have 200 Squire JP, so we'll all have gained JP up. If you don't, don't worry about it. Don't fret over it. It's not obscenely critical. Finish him! Yeah, nice thing about Dash is that it has 100% accuracy compared to your physical attacks, which will take evade into account. Alright, got him all. You see, that was already much faster than the first battle, and I don't have a whole lot of abilities yet. Or job classes. Marquee? Oh, no. Looks like, uh, well, I think they already said it, but, uh, well, we'll see. Let's figure out what our next move is. We gotta get over to Egros there. Yay! Happy music. Get a little bit of gill. Some items. Eh, not that I care. Well, potions are good. Yeah. Our money is going to be really tight, especially because I recruited all those uh, soldiers. Hopefully, uh, that won't screw me over too badly. How's it going? You're on. Oh, okay. I was going to say six years old, but, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not really a knight. Uh, just so you know, uh, Delita's last name is Haral, or ha Hyral, Hyrule, I don't know, however you want to pronounce it. He's not a Bial, but he's a friend of the family, apparently, for, I don't know if they ever explain why. Hmm. He's just a friend of, uh, Ramses, I guess. Well, apparently, they, uh, or some of their friends, I guess, kidnapped the Marquis. Holy cow! Oh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, besides, they're kind of our bosses. Or, well, my boss. I don't know about yours. How did you end up being the only one to survive? I don't know. He doesn't seem very confident to me. But can we do anything to help save the Marquis Elmdor? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!